Hello friends, welcome to DP Tutorials. Please subscribe to DP Tutorials and click on the bell icon for notifications. In this tutorial, let us learn about how to print a Gantt chart in Primavera P6. First, click on Print Preview to view how the print will be looking like. This is not in proper shape. So let us set up the print in the presentable manner. First step is to click on print setup and from the list of available printers select either Adobe PDF or XPS document writer. Select the size of paper here as 11 by 17 and set the orientation as landscape. Next step is to set the page setup. Click on the first icon in this print preview dialog box to go to the page setup. Here you can see the orientation and page size as we have already set up. In the scaling option, at the fit time scale to option set to one page wide. Go to margins tab and adjust as per your desired settings. For this example, I am leaving this as 0.5. Go to header tab and here you can change the headers like number of sections. Here it is mentioned as 3, height of header and the content in the individual sections. I am leaving this as per the default settings as it is. And similarly goes with the footer tab as well. Then in the options tab, you will have some important options for printing. In the time scale start, either select any of the dates here or you can simply type PS-3D. By doing this, you will have some space to the left of the Gantt chart. PS means plan start. And in the time scale finish field, type as pf plus 5d to provide some space to the right of the Gantt chart that is 5 days. So pf is nothing but plan finish. Okay. Now ensure that you are selecting all the fields in this print section and once you are done with all the settings finally click OK. And now click on the print button to print the activities view and Gantt chart to Adobe PDF or Microsoft XPS file. Now you can see how our schedule is getting printed like this in more presentable way. Got it friends? So this is all about how to print properly a Gantt chart in Primavera PS6. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. If yes, please give me a like, share and comment. For further more interesting videos, please do subscribe to DP Tutorials. Thank you friends. Thanks for watching.